we're tickling that one and we're tickling that one time to leave <laughs>
with freaking I don't even know, guys. We're just going to be the most freaking well-trained person in Skyrim. So I tell you what. I think what I'm going to go do is I'm going to go back to Castle Shellblad and get some stuff from there. Maybe get some potions made up for invisibility and sneaking and stuff like that. And uh, when I've got some stuff ready, I'll meet you guys at Golden Glow Estate. And then it's time to go in there, all sneaky-beaky-like, and steal some stuff. So I'll see you soon. All right, you guys. So... I didn't do a whole lot of stuff, but what I did do is going to make it count, guys. So, I actually picked up a pair of boots that had the Muffle enchantment on them, guys. And so I broke those suckers down, enchanted the crap out of my Van Nord carved boots, guys. And we are good to go. Now, I have some special things that I can do. Now, I can go invisible. I can enhance my stealth for like 20, 30 seconds, stuff like that. So in the event of us needing to, I guess, sneak into that area, we can work for fine on that front. So we're good. What the crap? <laughs> we're good to go on that front. Hello, dinner. How you doing? I also enchanted my uh, Artorias Greatsword with a fire enchantment, as you can tell. And it looks super freaking cool. And we're good to go, guys. So I also have a spell that I can use really, really far away that I can set those beehives on fire, like, from super far away, guys. And so it's going to be super easy. We don't even need to be inside of, the like, the premises to burn those things. So we might do that last. Either that or we'll burn them first, go in, and then set them, like, well, everyone inside will be distracted, and then we'll go inside and do all that stuff. But there's a mist blanketing the area. It's a perfect time to infiltrate during the day. It's 10.27 in the morning. We're ready to do this, guys. So let's go ahead and head over. Where are the beehives? I see them. I see. Target is in sight. Okay, good stuff. So, is there a bridge or something that I can find? You know what? No. I remember there being a sewer entrance. I just can't remember where it's at. Crap. I should have talked to the people before I left. Hmm. I could have sworn that there was a freaking sewer entrance somewhere. All right, you know what? I'm going to take I'm going to put on the unlock, the manipulate unlock just in case we need to get in somewhere quick. All right, so I guess the mist is leaving. So that's kind of unfortunate. I'm losing my uh I, my uh, uh what is it? Element of surprise. And apparently someone's looking for me over here. Oh crap. There's a lot of people in that fort. That's unfortunate. That's unfort unit. <laughs> God, I'm so stupid. All right, so let's see. Let's go ahead and catch some fish. I'll take you guys. Appreciate you. All right, so let's see. Uh, I know there's a freaking well entrance. Or not a well entrance. There's a sewer entrance. There's somewhere. It's over here. It's got to be somewhere, guys. All right, let's see. I'm going to look for it real quick, guys. All right, we have Golden Glow Estate discovered. And I can set those things on fire from over here because it's a telekinetic fire spell. But I'm not going to just yet. So I'm going to keep looking for this entrance, guys, and I'll bring you guys back in when we're inside of Golden Glow's Estate Sewers. All right, you guys, so I'm abandoning the search on the sewer entrance to go in in the back of this way. Now, I kind of have to be quick about this because I was hearing a bunch of mercenaries walking around. So let's be quick about this. Come on, Ryan. Touch the lock. There we go. Cast the spell. Good to go. Look away. Good to go. Inside of Golden Glow Estate. Now, do a quick save just in case. And we're in, guys. Here we go. Okay. Now, this is where the fun stuff comes in, guys. We need to we need to be careful, all right? Sorry if you heard that that's my computer again. I don't know why it does that. It just likes to do that. Okay. So let's see. Move silently for 30 seconds. That makes the sound... The freaking thing makes a sound. Um, fortify sneak. That would probably make a sound. I don't know what to do. Hmm... I don't know what spell is going to be a good thing to do, or a good thing to have. Hmm. Darkness invisibility greater, sure. I'm going to have to use that one. You move more quietly for 200 seconds. That's a good one. We're going to have to keep this one, guys. We got to keep that one. And you know what? I'm going to keep the bow equipped. No, I can't keep the bow equipped because <laughs> I can't have a spell equipped. Damn it. Okay. This is what we're going to do. Let's see. You know what? Do I dare just equip a damn axe? No, the, the great sword's fine. Okay, here's what we're going to do. Let's see if I can equip this invisibility spell and if anyone hears me. Of course, as people hear me. Wonderful. Okay. Well, we're muffled, so we should be able to get through here pretty easily. Nobody come over here. 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 There's nothing over here. There's nothing over here. There's nothing over here. There's no. Why is she still here? 
Nothing here. They're not even seeing her. <laughs> oh my freaking god. They're not. E oh wait. I, I need to get away from them. I need to get away from them. I'm going to pop out of invisibility in like 30 seconds. Oh god. Okay. Where do we need to go to get the thingy? Where do we need to go? Okay. Oh god. Oh god. Okay. 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 This is bad. I'm going to go and equip invisibility one more time. There we go. Perfect. I have the magic to get through this, guys. I've got the... No, 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 no. How can you see me? I'm invisible. Nobody likes you, mercenary. You can't see me. Okay, nope. We're reloading the save. We're going to try and do this. We're going to try and do this all sneaky beaky like, guys. And if it doesn't work, then we're going to go in sword swinging, freaking sword swinging, burning shit down, all sorts of stuff, guys. So hang on. Okay. Here we go. Let's go invisible again. No, wait. You know what? Let's put that away. Okay. I want to see. What about... What if we can get through here just regularly? Okay. I wonder. Do I have anything that can show me where anyone is at? Detect life. Allows for the user to see nodes of energy from all of their surrounding targets. Life detect for 30 seconds. It's a power. I don't want that. You know what? Uh, instincts. Right here. It's from the... It's from the what? The campfire mod. It allows you to see through walls. So check this out. Oh, wait, no. Does it? Why does it... Wait, why did that just show me the... Uh, interesting. Uh, I think it shows me that. Maybe not? I thought it showed me that. Hmm. Okay, we're just gonna have to trust it. Alright. We're just gonna keep having to use it. And we're gonna have to sneak through here, guys. We gotta just try. We just need to try. So, I'm not seeing anybody so far. We're good to go. If I move slowly, it doesn't deactivate, so that's good. So, we can just keep on moving here. Luckily, I am still muffled. I'm muffled because my shoes are muffled. Like, they have the muffled enchantment on them. So, we're good to go on that front. Yeah, it does show life. So, check her out. She's blue. She's glowing blue. Uh, she's purple, actually. But, we're good to go on that front. Alright. Uh, any bodies in here? No. Okay, good, good, good. Wait, why did, I, why did I just go that way? I just did a circle. God dang it, guys. I'm stupid. All right. I think we can move kind of quickly because we're muffled. So we should be able to move kind of quickly. But even then, I'm still going to kind of push a little bit slowly. All right. We're just going to kind of push through here, guys. Uh, I think it's on the second floor. We need to get... Let's see. What are we doing? Obtain the key to Erangoth safe. Clear out Erangoth safe. Now, we don't necessarily need the key, I don't think, because it's probably a lockpick um, lock. So, we can just do that. And it looks like this is leading me to my objective. So, we can just kind of do that. Follow that and it'll lead us to the objective. So, so long as we don't have to sneak past anybody, we should... Oh, God. Oh, no. There's somebody at the end of the hallway. Do you see him? Oh, crap. Okay, we're gonna go around this way. Hopefully... Okay, you know what? Quick save. We need to quick save every single time we get to a certain spot. I do not want to get caught by him. He's to the right of the screen. Okay, he's no longer on screen. We're good to go. Okay, it looks like we can go through here. It looks like it's taking me, like, a, sh a good way to not get caught. So that's good. I appreciate that, Skyrim. Love you so much. All right. Looks like we're doing okay, guys. All right, we're good. I wonder how fast I can move. Because, like, since I'm muffled, I wonder if I can, like, run. Okay, so the key is up there. I'm curious to know... I think the safe is down below. That rhymed. Okay, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. Let's sneak behind him. We're good to go. Crap. Okay, we can do this, guys. We can do this. Don't see me. Don't see me, don't see me, don't see me, don't see me. He saw me, he saw me, he saw me. No, 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 no. Who's there? Crap. I didn't think about that, guys. I did not think about that. Crap. I should have freaking remembered that... Blah, 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 blah. Damn it. Okay, we're gonna we just gotta we just gotta pick the lock. Nobody can hear us. Nobody can hear us. We're good to go. We're, it's all right. We're we're okay. We're okay. All right. Now we know what to do. We can sneak past that guy. We're good to go. We're good to go. We'll just pick the lock. It's a novice lock. I can pick a damn novice lock. I picked a damn master lock at the beginning of this series. You kidding me? I could pick anything. All right. Except my nose. I don't want to pick a nose. Okay. Let's see. Where's he at? We're gonna have to be quick about this. So we're going to wait until he comes here, turns back around, and goes that way. And I could probably pick it from, like, all the way back here because that's how cheeky Skyrim is. You can pick things from, like, ten feet away. All right, come on. Turn around, big guy. Turn around. You don't see anything, right? No, you don't. Okay, good. Good, good, good. We're good. We're good. Okay, good, good, good. Where are we at? 
No, okay. Yep, yep, yep. We're good. Okay, good. good, 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 good. All right, we're good. We're good. We're good. We're going to go inside of here. We're going to go inside. We're so freaking golden, guys. We are Golden Glow Estate. Oh my god, we're so good. Okay, let's come down here. We're going in, guys. Okay, what do we got? I see someone across the room. It looks like I can go through here. Oh, there's two people back there. Okay. Hmm. All right. We can go through here. Open door. We're good. Thank you, little clairvoyance thing. It shows me exactly where to go. That's so freaking nice. I love that. Okay, so we're good to go. I'm going to go ahead and move a little bit faster through here because it looks like they can't hear me through the walls. Let's go ahead and get a quick save in just so I don't forget. All right, we're good to go. What is... What's... Oh, crap. Okay, you know what? Hmm. The way I've done this is I've killed that guy. But I don't know if I want to kill him with the fire, because that's going to make too much noise. I think I need to kill him with the blade, guys. I gotta kill him with the blade. He's just gotta die. Oh, good, our sneak increased to 27. Wonderful. And... dead. Sorry about your bad luck, buddy. Okay, are we good to go? Or No one heard that? We're good. Okay, good, good, good. Good, 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 good. I got the cellar key, and we're so freaking golden goose, guys. We are golden goose glow estate. We're so freaking good. Okay. Oh, there's the safe, guys. We're so good. Aragoth safe. Okay, this one I can use the spell on, I think. Nothing heard me. Good, good, good. Go ahead and touch it. Out of it. Perfect. Oh, my God, we're in, guys. We so freaking got it. Oh, we so freaking got it. I think I can... Yep, there we go. Perfect. Oh, guys. We are master, master thieves. Now, now we need to get out. So I wonder, is this a way out? I bet you it is. Is this the sewer entrance? <gasps> Jackpot, guys. We are safe. Now we just need to burn down the uh, the beehives. Only three of them, and we'll be so freaking good, guys. Oh, my God. All right, let's get outside, and I'll meet you guys out there. All right, you guys. I have the telekinetic destruction spell equipped. Now, I had to come back on the premises because they have a wall up, and the cheeky bastards, they wouldn't let me shoot it from afar. So, what we're going to do is we're going to tickle them from afar. We only need three. So we're tickling that one. We're tickling that one. And we're tickling that one. Time to leave. Okay. We got it. We got it. We got it. We got it. We got it, guys. Oh, my God. We were in and out. And we weren't even detected. First try. Just kidding. Oh, my God. We're so freaking amazing. We need a teabag. Oh, teabag. Celebrational teabag. Oh, man. Or celebrational? What the crap are you talking about? Celebratory, you moron. All right, guys. Let's head back to Brynjolf and bring him the good news. Because, oh, my God. Maven Blackbriar is going to be so freaking happy. Oh, man, guys. All right. Let's go see what Brynjolf has to say. Hey, Brynjolf. I have great news. Word on the street is Golden Glow has been hit. Good job, Lack. Hell, yeah. Let me take a look at what you found. Arangoth sold Golden Glow? What's that idiot thinking? He has no idea the extent of Maven's fury when she's been cut out of a deal. But I'm certain he'll find out. If only the parchment had the buyer's name instead of this odd symbol. Any idea what that might be? No idea. Blast. Well, I'll check my sources and speak to Mercer. Hello, Serana. <laughs> now, you're off to speak to Maven Blackbriar. She asked for you by name. Oh, God. The boss? Oh, God. Good, it's about time I met her. Don't sound so eager. It's not a social visit. It's business. You make it sound like I wanted to meet her. That's between you and Maven, and I prefer to keep it that way. Don't worry about it. Maven's business dealings usually involve quite a bit of gold for her people. Speaking of uh, which... Of course, your pay. <laughs> You're smart as a whiplash. How can a whip be smart? By us. And there's plenty more where that came from. Holy Jesus, what did I tell you guys? Unlimited gold. 700 gold to go inside of a damn house and burn down some beehives? Holy Jesus. What's next? To go inside and steal someone's baby doll or some shit? Like, god dang. Oh, god. Wait, what? Wait a second. This has more dialogue options. Have you ever thought about getting... Wait, have you thought about getting cured of vampirism? No. Why? Whoa. Look what it did to your family. You could be your own person again. I think I'd feel more comfortable. I mean, I don't want to... I, I don't want her to change who she is. She's a vampire. No. I exit out of this. Yeah, no. You don't need to change who you are, Serana. You're perfect who you are. Who the hell... Who wants to change who you are? You're a vampire. Who cares? 
All right, so let's see. Let's go talk to Maven Blackbriar. Oh, the boss wants to see me. Hopefully, she wants to uh, give me some more money because I would like money. I like money a lot. But hopefully, she wants me to go kill somebody because I haven't killed anybody in like a while. It's been a little second, but maybe, maybe next episode we can go out and kill somebody. All right, let's see. Is she inside of this place? Right? Why am I hopping all over the place? What's going on? guess I'm happy. All right, the bee and the bob. It sounds like some place that would have like a, a little dinner theater or something like that, like a bunch of singing people. That'd be kind of fun to go to. I love dinner theaters. All right, let's see. A container full of valuables is nearby. Oh, really? Where is it then? Is it downstairs? I bet you it's downstairs. I'm going to use my deductive reasoning and say that it's downstairs. Let's see. Nope, nope, nope. I wonder if it's going to have like a symbol on it or something like that. I don't know. I'm still really new to that perk, so I don't exactly know what I'm looking for. Hmm. I am interested to know about that, though, because for those of you that know about Skyrim and stuff like that... Wait, Romlin Dreth. Romlin Dreth? Romlin... Wait, Dreth. Your dad was Valen Dreth! Valen Dreth is the guy from Oblivion! For the uh, uh, Valen Dreth is the guy that you're standing across from in the jail in Oblivion, the 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 the, the Dunmer in like the the Dark Elf or whatever it is, like the the Wood Elf or whoever it is. I think it's a Wood Elf. He's standing across from you in the freaking cell in the Imperial Prison. The only reason I know that is because I rebought Oblivion on Xbox One and played it. <laughs> Holy crap! Hats off to you, Bethesda. That's awesome. That's so freaking cool. All right. Whoa. Hello. Where the hell is Maven? Where you at, girl? What's up? All right. So you're the one. I think. Hmm. You don't look so impressive. How about we skip the conversation, bro? You're a firebrand, aren't you? I think so. It's about time Brynjolf sent you someone with business sense. I was beginning to think he was running some sort of beggars guild over there. Ha. <laughs> I don't have faith in anyone. All I care about is cause and effect. Did the job get done and was it done correctly? There's no gray area. All right. Uh, where do I begin? Head to the Bannered Mare in Whiterun and look for Malice Machius. He'll fill you in on all the details. Right away, sir, ma'am, whatever you are. But anyways, as I was saying before that freaking Dreth guy was ridiculously inter well, he interrupted me because your father I killed your father in oblivion I hope you know that anyways what I was going to say was that whole thing with the mod and saying that there was a uh, there was a loot container containing good stuff and the reason I know that that's true is because of this right here that right there is a what's it called a shadow symbol I think what that means is that's a that's a thieves guild marking that people carve into structures in Skyrim and I think they're in Oblivion too but it means I that means there's good loot I think uh, there's like a triangle with a circle in it and that means the thieves guild is there or something like that it's really cool stuff guys it's definitely worth looking into the lore of Skyrim and all that cool stuff because there's a lot to see in Skyrim guys but you know what I think I'm actually going to go ahead and end off today's episode there, guys, because holy crap, we got a ton of stuff done today, guys, and there's so much more coming down the pipeline. So, with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode, and if you did, make sure you smash that like button, subscribe for more daily videos, and if you haven't done already, follow me on Twitter at CouchPotato1898, and I will see you guys in the next video.